Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well. Uh, for me, this is kind of an important topic that I wanted to share, and it's why I believe, the topic is why I believe Final Fantasy has gained so much success this year and why it's ultimately so popular. And it's gonna be a bit more of a freestyle video. I'm just gonna be myself. I think that's the best way to get this point across. Uh, recently, I had the um, opportunity to watch the media tour for Endwalker. If you don't know what that is, I'll have some links to some of the videos in the description. And we got to see Yoshida, who's the game director for Final Fantasy XIV, speak to people within the community about their upcoming project and also uh, get to react to the increased popularity in the game and how they feel about that. There are several great interviews out there. I think one of them was with Mr. Happy where they discussed some of the potential issues in the game. And we also got to see uh, Zach or Asmongold and Rich talk to Yoshida uh, more so about their feelings towards the game in general. And for me, it was really eye-opening. I talked about it on Twitter, and it strengthened my belief on why the game is so popular. And ultimately, I think the game has grown so much because it's about the positive connection between the player base and the people that are making the game. So as someone that's played World of Warcraft my entire life, I remember having a really positive connection with the developers of World of Warcraft and Blizzard games in general. I thought that any game that they made was just amazing. You know, I, I didn't think they could do anything wrong. And, you know, I'm not here to blame Blizzard for any of that either. Um, I think it goes both ways. And I think over the years with some of the decisions that they had made and some of the community reactions, that relationship obviously changed. And it started changing even in Legion. I remember some of, or maybe after WAD, um, you know, you would see some of the questions during these Q&As just be spun in a negative light. People were upset. And because of that, the developers were upset. And it, I feel like even in Shadowlands, I remember there was an interview between Sloot and Morgan Day, I believe. And in that interview at the end, it was something like something was asked or brought up like, hey, you know, ultimately, I think the player base would just really appreciate more communication. That's just really what, all that we want. I think if you could give us some thought, pro you know, your thought process behind some of your decisions, it would go a long way. And I remember the answer being something like, well, we're here now. And I don't want to put words in his mouth, but that's essentially the vibe that I had from the interview. And I'm sure a lot of it is because the relationship is just screwed, right? It's just screwed. It's the player base doesn't really like the developers. They don't have faith or trust in them. And I'm sure the developers don't really like the player base. And we can see some of that on Twitter with some of the arguments that happen and discussions that are had. And in Final Fantasy, it's like the complete opposite of that. Not many people are concerned about the content that's coming in Endwalker outside of the story, obviously, but they're more there and excited for the expansion because they want to support their developers and the people that are creating their game. You know, I know when I watched the Asmongold interview, there was a statement that was brought up at the end. And it was something like, you know, hey, I hope you guys don't feel locked down to playing our game. I hope you're willing to go out and try other games. I think that's the, the way games are supposed to be played. I want you to feel free to try other projects and within the MMO community that's kind of like a cardinal sin especially in World of Warcraft you know maybe not so much as of late because I think a lot of people are willing to try other games now but I would say for several years you know if you went out and tried another game you were a traitor you, this was you know how could you play something else all these other MMOs suck and you would get a lot of hate for it um, and it sucks you know and I'm sure people in Final Fantasy, you know, there are players that feel that way and would bring those types of things up or ask you are, you, are you quitting Final Fantasy if you're trying another MMO? But to hear it from the game director's mouth that he wants other players to do that, for me, it went a long way. There was conversation about, hey, like maybe someday we can meet up and have a drink or something like that. And I've got to meet other people that worked at Blizzard in the past and have that type of relationship. And it's really cool. But... I just feel that ultimately that relationship is so important. The trust between the player base and the people that are creating the game is so important, more so than anything that you're any feature, uh, anything that you're planning to add to the game, because trust is something that, you know, is hard to build and easy to lose. And I think that for Final Fantasy in particular, even if Endwalker has something in it that's not amazing or maybe there's a feature that they haven't implemented it yet or you know they promised us better PvP this expansion and maybe it's not so great. I think people have trust in that they eventually will get to the place where they solve that issue or they fix the LFG problem in, L uh, in Final Fantasy, the advertising issue, or they do improve the PvP because it seems like they actually play 
the game and they care about their player base and the player base is just so excited to support you know yoshi p and his decisions because they have that level of trust and for me it's just something that i wish we had in world of warcraft uh you know a year ago or so and i don't it's i, I don't think it's fixable like i don't think it's something that it's anyone's fault in particular to be honest because it goes both ways i remember for a long time making videos and again i felt like maybe i did contribute to some of the negativity but i remember for a long time it was like if you were making videos or you were streaming world of, War world of warcraft content it was hard to not be bitter because you were kind of on the front lines right like the developers would be making these changes and you're the one as well as maybe the community manager out there, you know, kind of responding to a lot of the decisions that they're making. You know, you're the one out there that has to deal with a lot of the negativity that the players feel because they're venting to you about it. And it sucks. It feels like you're always in this negative cesspool. And I'm sure WoW players feel that as well because maybe you do like the game and it's hard to enjoy the game because there's so many people around you being so negative about the game. And I think when you go to Final Fantasy, everyone's so positive about the game. Of course, there's people that don't like the game or they don't like how positive everyone is about the game. I'm sure that exists. But in general, going over there, it's not just the game that feels good for some people. It's the community that feels good. You know, for example, I've mentioned it in a couple of videos. I've been playing Lost Ark a lot and I absolutely love the game. It's so much fun. It's probably one of you know, one of the best games I've ever played. I know that's a crazy statement, but for me, it's just all around a really fun game. There are other games that I obviously like a lot as well and have enjoyed in the past. But with that, there is now negativity around the game because of the delay of the game and people feeling that they chose New World over Lost Ark. I don't want to get into all that nonsense, but you can see it on Twitter, right? Like they'll put out something on Twitter about like, you know, a meme video or some kind of lore thing. And people instantly comment like nobody cares about this. You're killing your own game. And for me, it's like I'm not blaming the community because they're upset at a decision that the developers made, the people that were publishing the game made. So it's, it's, it's a mutual thing. But when I am a new player and I go and I see this, I'm looking into the game, for example, and I look on Twitter, what's going to deter me more? The lore posts that maybe I don't really care about or the reaction, the negative reaction to that lore post, right? It, that's probably going to deter me more. Wow, there's this is people are upset at the game. Maybe it's not a good game or they're screwing over their players, whatever it is, right? That's going to be my reaction. And, you know, I'm so tempted to want to try Final Fantasy. I've played it a little bit um, and I had a good time. And I even said when I played it that the reason I enjoyed it was everybody was so positive about the game. Like I was, it was like, it was like uh, therapeutic, right? I would go there and everyone just wants to help you. And maybe I have a biased experience because I do stream or I make videos. I don't know. But in general, I had such a positive experience and I'm so happy that that is the relationship between the community and the developers of the game. I think so much, it sounds like some goose frog shit right now. I know, but it's just, it just, contagious you know i think for a lot of people it's contagious and i hope that maybe with the success of final fantasy that will rub off onto other games and maybe other developers media tours will resemble what we saw in this last one if you haven't seen i highly recommend you check it out so i think i will try final fantasy i think i will get into it um probably sometime here. I still want to play other games and try other things. Obviously, I, I'm not stopping my plans in that, but I do want to try it out. And maybe with Endwalker coming up, I'll give it a shot. Uh, I had a good time streaming it last time, so I'll probably do that again. But I'm just so happy for the community, all the success that the game is having. And I think more so for me, I'm rooting for the game because of how positive the game is with between the player base and the people that are creating it. I think that's what I'm rooting for more than anything. I want that to keep being successful and hopefully it has a positive impact in gaming in general because I think it goes such a long way and it's more important than any piece of content, any raid, any dungeon, anything. I think that is the most important thing when it comes to gaming is the trust between the players so and, and the developers. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was just my, you know, just an unedited video, just my two cents, something that I noticed, something that I wanted to talk about. And it means a lot to me, especially coming from WoW. So it, I felt it, right? It was cool. It was cool to see, as cheesy as it sounds. So appreciate you guys again. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.